Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Where today, I'm gonna give this a shot. I've put it off long enough, let's play as the Lost. We have the Eternal D6, which allows us to re-roll something either into another item or it just disappears, so that's always a fun bet. If it's a useless item, then it might end up being good. We have the Holy Mantle effect because we have done enough greed mode and put enough coins into the donation machine, so we can go in here. And we have no health, and we get Guppy's Eye, so we can see what is going to be inside chests. That was kind of a dangerous move because, well, on the one hand it's kind of dangerous because it could have been Cursed Eye, but Cursed Eye doesn't really matter so much on this character because he can't really take damage anyway outside of the one hit, and I don't think it actually activates at that point, so that's fair enough. 120 volt, not too terrible. I'm liking that this Curse of the Blind isn't the worst thing in the world so far, so I can appreciate that. Anything that comes close is now going to start being zapped, so that's pretty nice. And there's a room over there which requires bombs to enter, so I will probably just not bother. Yeah, the 120 volt might actually end up being pretty good in these early stages for sure, because flies are dying real quickly. We also have spectral tears, so we can just shoot over rocks and stuff like this, which is nice. And we can see what's inside that sack, and it's actually quite a lot of bombs, so I am... A little bit tempted by it for sure. Strength card or High Priestess? I'll actually take High Priestess for the boss on this floor, I think. And we're just gonna keep on zapping. It's an interesting character for sure, and not as bad as it used to be, but still pretty rough. <laughs> but fortunately, stuff like that does help. Breakfast, unfortunately, does absolutely nothing for me, so I'm not especially happy about that. I'm actually just gonna buy this because that is a large quantity of bombs and I think that's gonna end up being pretty useful. The secret room is probably over here. Nope, okay. Um, well, it's not above there. So then it's probably ne either next to this room or next to the other one, which isn't great. But you know what? I'm just gonna try it. Occasionally you do get one of those really good secret room items and it might end up being worthwhile. Secret rooms cannot be next to boss rooms, so yeah, I was gonna have to be there. And fair enough, I'm just gonna bomb my way into that room as well just to see if there's anything in there. One pill! Health up, does nothing, so yeah, again, fair enough I suppose. Let's just leave this floor, it's a little, un little unfortunate, but... Given that we had Curse of the Blind and didn't actually get particularly terrible items, I, I don't mind that so much. So, let's just go. I'm not sure what the best route is for this particular character. I haven't really planned this out very well. Curse of the Lost. Rooms like this are also a little scary because if I get hit by that fire, then I cannot leave the curse room without dying anymore. So, I'd rather get out of there as quickly as possible. But it is kind of worthwhile to go for since we already got one guppy piece anyway. I kind of wouldn't mind getting the guppy transformation for sure. But it is definitely not something that's going to be guaranteed. Wouldn't mind trying to go for boss rush either, but it's one of those things where it's like... It's a lot of waves. You kind of need to have a good build to do stuff like boss rush and hush with this character, I do feel. And uh, hopefully we can get something in that regard, but... We'll, uh, we'll just have to make do with what we got at the end of the day. And hope for the best. Definitely using those zaps to the maximum of its potential, really, because it is doing... A decent amount of extra damage, it's just a little bit scary to get so close to enemies though. The flight is quite nice at least, because it allows me to go all over the place and just grab everything that is nearby. Envy might be particularly troublesome if I get impatient, but hopefully... Yeah. The 120 volt thing is working pretty well at disposing of this boss fairly quickly. Didn't even really get a reward, unfortunately. But we'll just uh, have to learn to live with that. I can just hover over this rock over here and deal with all of my issues that way, so that is nice. Stuff like that is just lovely. Hopefully we can get the poop trinket maybe from all these poops, but if not, that's okay. Um, the nice thing about the Eternal D6, or yeah, is it the Eternal D6? Yeah, I think it is the Eternal D6. Is that it, um, this was a thin room, right? Yeah. Um, it does have a very low recharge, so it is. It, you do often get the opportunity to at least re-roll certain items. Unfortunately, the fact that it makes them disappear as well is not great, but I mean, at least it's better than nothing at the end of the day. You can get rid of some of the more useless items, like breakfast for instance, that I wouldn't have minded to re-roll if I knew it was there. 
God, that Zappy is doing a lot, though. I mean, we would have been able to clear some of these rooms fairly easily as well without the big zaps, but it certainly is not hurting my business at all, and I appreciate that. Uh, I'll blow you up. Unfortunately, no five coins. It would have been a nice amount of coins to get at that stage. Don't want to get hit by these, because that would be an unfortunate thing to lose. And that is the scooper, which I'm just going to touch. And then we're going to re-roll it into something worse. So, you know, it's uh, we've made our choices. We are going to be able to recharge our thing here. Also, with devil deals, you can only pick one of the items and then the others will disappear, but you won't die upon taking it. So, you know, it's ups and downs for sure. Kind of tempted to use my strength card here, I suppose, just to speed this fight up a little bit, but not sure if I should. Kind of just want to keep a little plum over here. Uh, at a safe distance if I could, but at the same time, I kind of want to use my zaps. That is what you don't want to have happen, because now I am in a somewhat of a predicament, unfortunately. Uh, but if we just get through the rest of this fight without taking damage, that would be ideal. I am getting a little tired of this attack, I'm not gonna lie. But hopefully, there we go. Finally, some new stuff right there. It's not too difficult to dodge if you know what you're doing, you just gotta actually dodge the attacks. I'll actually take this and skip the devil deal, I guess. I wouldn't mind Mega Satan if I could. It's a little bit precarious with this character for sure, but I'll take it. Uh, I was, oh, all right. Yeah, that seems pretty damn good. <laughs> uh, having items that are bad just not spawn seems nice for sure. This is a small tier rate up and allows us to shoot diagonally, so that could end up being pretty good as well. And yeah, let's just go. Let's just see if uh, we can get some angel rooms and some good items from that. I, I'm i curious what Birthright actually does in that sense. Ace of Hearts has been unlocked because we technically cleared two floors in a row uh, with half a heart of health. Uh, you can do that with any character, but with the loss it's just a little bit more convenient because you're always running around with that amount of health anyway, so you might as well. Guppy's eye telling me that I should not even bother with that particular thing right there. I'm gonna see if I can get a teleportation item or something. Or maybe just a, tele a teleportation card or something like that. To um, go into my curse room from this point on. Because I am getting a little frightened by that whole situation, I suppose. Don't love this, but it's not the worst. God, the zaps is hitting so much as well. I'm actually just gonna go for my curse room, even though I just said I wouldn't. Uh, because I was kind of hoping to get a red chest or something like that. The spiders were being a little rude. But it ended up working out. Five more coins as well, so that's lovely. But really, I just want to get to a room where I can use that Eternal D6 as quickly as possible if need be. Because it seems like um, that would be ideal. Because then you can just get as many rerolls out of it as possible. Potentially the item will just disappear after one try, but at least... We'll have tried, and it doesn't feel like we're wasting item charges by doing so. I'm actually just gonna bomb out of this. Because, uh, I can't really do anything with the sacrifice room, unfortunately. Don't know if my secret room is over here, I didn't check that carefully. Yeah. It could probably be over here, though. Yeah, that's fair enough. Oh uh, god, that's just rough. <laughs> Let's just deal with that side first, although I don't love... How oh my god, alright, well... Fair enough. Let's just try that again. We're just gonna give this a couple tries. But it is uh, it is a tough character, and occasionally you will just get rooms that are tricky. <laughs> so, that's the way it is. Fruitcake? I don't love or hate that particularly. I, I'm not sure if this is gonna be a problem. But we're gonna see about that, I suppose. Not really getting any good curse rooms so far, which I'm not loving either, but... Uh, hopefully we'll get some better stuff as the run progresses, at least. At least the run died pretty early, so I suppose that's somewhat of a positive. But this is a character where I'm expecting most of the deaths, at least. What a weird room. Just a thin room with a single button that finishes the room, but fair enough, I suppose. But, yeah, this, this is a character that I was dreading a lot and just haven't really bothered to even try yet, because it's tricky to get... A run going with this character for sure. It, it is one of the more difficult characters and this isn't even... It's not the worst character for sure because there's also Tainted Loss and that's a whole nother can of worms right there but we'll get to that when we get to that nonsense. But 
Yeah, with Holy Mantle, it's definitely a lot more doable than it once was, but it's still not exactly the easiest thing in the world. And if all else fails, I could just throw away all this footage and just say, Oh, my win streak became minus five for some reason. That's odd. Probably a bug. And then just call it a day. I will actually get that blue map, I think, because that is a large amount of coins. And I don't mind that at all. Being able to know where the secrets are can be kind of useful. It does save some bombs in the long run and uh, also has some slight navigational advantages as well. So hopefully we can get get the most out of that. A little horn tier showing up from the get-go. Just going to use those black poops to hopefully both cause some damage and some confusion to the enemy. Uh, which I'm not sure how much that really affects this boss in particular, but it would be nice if it helped out, I suppose. I'm a little tempted to go for something like Downpour, actually, just because, um... Um, well, it is... You do get a couple more items, I suppose, that you can at least pick from, which hopefully could be worthwhile. So I'm actually just gonna give that a shot. Not sure if this is gonna be the end of me, but we'll see about that, I suppose. <laughs> also, one nice thing about the loss is that you don't need to step into the white flame. You can just go into the... The mirror, once again, a curse of the blind. I'm not loving how many we're getting out of those today, but you know, what are you gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing. But hopefully if I can just place this, uh, that worked out well enough. I wasn't sure if that was just gonna push it all the way down. Ball and chain, very nice. Definitely wouldn't want to reroll that. Very happy about this, actually. <laughs> uh, and I do not love the teleportation effect, which I definitely forgot about. Also, we can't actually just blow up all these mushrooms because of that holy mantle. Um, because if we get hit, we can just leave the room speed down. Not loving that, but it's still not terrible speed. Plus, now we know which pill is speed down, so that's also good. Not ideal, but it, it'll, it's manageable at least. And manageable is exactly what we're trying to go for with this character. So with that, I will simply move on, try to destroy as many poops as possible to really just increase the amount of money we have. That's really the only thing I'm particularly looking for right now. That is a battery beggar, which could end up being pretty useful with that Eternal D6 if we could see what our items were. <laughs> uh, with some luck, there is an active item in the item room, and then we can just end up re-rolling that and... Have some good luck with that, maybe. Although, better yet would be if we just get good items, I suppose. And not have to reroll anything ever, but... Perhaps that might be a little too much to ask for. I did take a hit there, so I'm trying to play this a little bit more carefully, but... Ended up working out alright, I think. I uh, wasn't sure if that was a uh, bad thing or not, so... Fortunately, that worked out. Uh, friendly ball. Let's just reroll that. To nothing. Well, that is the downside of the Eternal D6 right there. I could risk the shop because we do have a lot of money, but I don't think I want to. I will try this though. And yeah, we did get a bomb for it in our in return, so I guess I might as well just blow that up. Got a bomb again, so might as well go into my super secret room then because things are working out. Things are working out. I am a little concerned about the boss fight, I guess, on this floor because usually I always am a little bit scared about doing the bosses as the lost in general, on these floors. And now I don't have a choice, so... <laughs> I'm hoping that's gonna end up working out in my favor. Probably could've used that troll bomb to open up the super secret room, but... Would've been a lot of moving around and... Didn't really feel like it, so... Let's just give this a shot. It is turbid, which I have in the past gotten hit by in stupid ways, so I'm hoping to avoid that today. It does help that we have some flight available and that the... Rainbow Tears are causing quite the ruckus as well, which is lovely. But the flight seems to be a more important part of it, because uh, I can just fly over the X-Lax effect. Uh, range down. That's really the only thing that I got there. I also got a health down, I'm guessing, but I just didn't see that because uh, my health is irrelevant as this character, so I guess we were pretty lucky in that regard. Hopefully we can get an angel room immediately and get some good stuff. Hopefully we can stop getting Curse of the Blind every single floor. This is getting kind of insane, but you know, that's... That's the game. <laughs> but it would really make my life a lot simpler if it would just stop, because this is undoable this way, but you know. As I said, that's the game. I could just step on that enemy right now and he'd die, but... 
it got a little spooky when he started shooting at the same time. Uh, take that. Health up, very good. Balls of steel, also very useful. Alright, um, I'm a little tempted by the boss challenge room just because um, they do have a tendency of at least dropping something or another which could, which could be usable. I'm not sure if I do this for a while, if I'll eventually just get a tier which, yeah, okay, that does work. So I should probably be trying to do that as much as possible. Maybe be doing it like this as well, just to see if we can destroy some shopkeepers without having to spend our bombs, because we're not really getting much in the bomb department right now. If I get a teleportation item, I'm definitely going to go for that boss challenge room, because then I can just at least try it, and if all else fails, then uh, that's fine. Probably not going to go for boss rush at this rate, because quite frankly, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just not making that much progress in that quick a time right now, but... That's okay. Hoping that's not gonna worry me too much. Uh, I will actually risk this. Wooden nickel, sure. And re-roll it. Steam sale, that's okay. I will just buy all of that. Because, um... Well, I, I just need stuff. <laughs> that's the main reason why I'm risking it. Because I need things and I... I'm currently not acquiring them, so hopefully we can get some good stuff there. Lover's card. I. If we get a D20, we can make use of that, so that's kind of okay in the grand scheme of things, I suppose. That's really the only way I can justify that being a good thing right now, but hopefully... Hopefully we can find a way. <laughs> uh, blister, don't care that much. Did not expect little ghosts was not ready for those to suddenly be zooming all over the place, but ended up working out. They dropped an Algis rune, which is probably better than a potential d 20 lover's card, so I guess that's nice. And a little tempted to step on that champion while he shrunk like that, but not like a whole lot, just like enough to consider it for a minute. Lilith, don't mind that. Best bud. Very okay, I suppose. Uh, actually, that might not do anything ever, thinking about it, because uh, I think that requires me to take damage before it actually shows up, so that's actually unfortunate. Temperance Machine will kill you instantly, so that and Demon Beggars are both uh, forces to be reckoned with as this character. And should probably just be destroyed. I actually am just destroying some of these buckets for the sake of maybe getting the leech. The odds of that are not exactly in my favor, I think. I've seen it happen exactly once. But perhaps we can get it happen a second time, and that would be exciting, I suppose. And, um... Yeah, just, uh, just a bunch of nothing. I'm a Should I go for the boss challenge room? I actually don't know. I'm a little tempted, for sure. There's a tinted rock there, which I might as well try and destroy, because... I got a big rock behind me. If it, it can be useful for sure if um, you get a small rock or something like that. We do have decent speed again, so I'm not really too worried about the speed down. Wouldn't mind the damage up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that right there. Mom's bra, magician card. Okay, that's interesting. Um, because you do end up getting that perfection if you. Um, don't die for the first three floors, so that is quite nice. This is a bunch of money laying on the floor as well. And if we have perfection, then we're going to shoot a lot of flames, so that's obviously not bad. We could also just real quickly look for a trap door, I suppose, in a room like this, because, because quite frankly, we're destroying a lot of rocks. There is that bomb rock over there, which worries me a bit, but not enough to really be too scared, I suppose. Because at the end of the day, the bomb rock will just get rid of my holy mantle and not much else. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should just go for boss rush like this uh, with the flames because if we do end up shooting large amounts of flames, then the run will go pretty quickly. So I might actually just give that a shot. Rainmaker, that's not too terrible. Yeah, and those flames are hurting quite a lot as well, so that is quite nice. There's Perfection. There's Binky, which is a tears up. Uh, there is... Okay, that's interesting. This is doing something. Yep, okay. We have a build. <laughs> this this might work. I'm actually just gonna step away from the mines there and just uh, keep on going. 
Because, well, Spirit Sword worries me a little bit. Um, combined with the fact that I'm shooting quite this many flames is making me feel a little bit more comfortable about the whole situation. Just every time I swing my sword, I appear to be shooting a flame, and that is clearly working fairly well. But I am confident that I can destroy myself with the items that we currently have, and that is worrying. Might as well destroy every shopkeeper on the way as well. God, this is actually kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bombing that wall. I have a blue map. But yeah, this uh, this is the coolest thing I've seen with the sword, I think, as well. Just having it shoot flames every time. So aesthetically, I'm also quite enjoying it. I'll get those keys in a minute. That's greed. The greed doesn't really stand a chance against me right now. Yeah, this could work. This could... I'm... Not, I'm positive about it. I'm not immediately hopeful that we'll win because I am still very close to death at all times, but I'm feeling slightly more confident than at the start of this whole session, so that's at least kind of nice. I will keep looking for my item rooms though because, quite frankly, we are clearing the rooms quick enough that I don't really need to worry about that too much. That's a big flame that that creates. Does that deal like a whole bunch of damage as well? It might, actually. That's the biggest flame I've seen in a bit. That's another bomb. Uh, <laughs> worried about anything. Worried about anything. That's really... Oh, okay. That is a vital item as this character. Um, because it can allow you to just win fights. And that is obviously amazing. If we get any familiar... Then we are gonna choose Delirium. That That's pretty much how it's gonna be. <laughs> uh, not even gonna go for any of the other directions, really. Um, just gonna go straight up cheese Delirium and call it a day. Because that is one of the main things I am concerned about with this character. And Nod Leaf is a way to just get rid of that worry by a very easy method. So that would be lovely. God, this is a build, though. <laughs> Even without the Nod Leaf, this is looking pretty damn good. But against Delirium, there's just so much going on. And you need some kind of protection against that nonsense. So hopefully that's exactly what we have here. We have a two of spades, which I'll just use immediately. Uh, wouldn't mind a better map, I guess. That, <laughs> that, that would be quite nice as well. But also, I need some way to actually make use of this Nod Leaf. Because right now, I don't quite have anything. I cannot get rid of Perfection, because quite frankly, it's it's a cornerstone of the build. <laughs> so, that is staying in there. Unless we can carry a second trinket, we are definitely not going to replace that anytime soon. Uh, we can somewhat safely go into that curse room. Uh, since the secret room is right next to it. So that's nice. Temperance and death. Less nice. Um, bag lunch, uh, that does nothing for me unless I can re-roll it, but I think I need to take damage for that to activate as well, so that doesn't really work for me. Uh, yep. Got scared of myself turning into a statue, but that's what the Nod Leaf does. <laughs> if you stand still for a minute, you turn into a statue and you cannot take damage from anything. So obviously that is quite a nice thing to have as a character like this. Um, but what would I need? I'd need, like, uh, really just an orbital would work, I think. That would be lovely. We do still have that algae, so if all else fails, we have some protection at least, but... It's only 30 seconds at the end of the day. Uh, Eden's Blessing, I kinda have to reroll that, unfortunately. Any other time I would. A little dumpy euthanasia is so good, but I can't right now. Really button. Book of Sin, I'll touch that. Uh, for the bookworm transformation progress. Tiny plan, I'm not even sure how that would work with this item. Adrenaline, that isn't... Oh, the god, okay, yeah, I kind of have to. Because that's the spun transformation, and that's just so much extra damage. So I wouldn't mind that. Uh, that would have been good to grab earlier. Converter, I don't think really does anything for me. And that is that. Let's just bomb in here. We do have some bombs at our disposal right now, so that's nice. That doesn't really replace perfection that well. 
That is gonna be the criteria for most of these decisions at the end of the day. War, there you go. That's exactly what you want to see. That is an orbital right there. That is exactly what you want to see right there because that is enough to just destroy any boss. So we are just going to start making a run for it at this point. We have a full key. Oh god, I did say I was going to go to Delirium, but I actually wouldn't mind getting Mega Satan out of the way either. Oh god, this is a choice, isn't it? I could risk it. But simultaneously, I feel more confident about being able to destroy Mega Satan with a build than I am with Delirium for sure. We have in the past destroyed Mega Satan before without taking damage. I think we may have done once with Delirium, but it's definitely not one I feel at all comfortable with, so we're just not... I think I'm just gonna play it as safe as I can. Just to get all that nonsense out of the way. This, <laughs> I love this stuff. <laughs> I will just say, this this build, every now and then, it, it just shows up in my eyes again when I'm actually consciously looking at the screen. And it is something to behold for sure. I will actually re-roll that, I think. Infamy. That's a little bit of extra defense. Which is an instant yes to any question, really. So that's the way we're going to do it. Watch out for the spiky rocks, they can still hurt. Um, I still need to find my item room. We have plenty of time right now, so that's good. It is quite a large floor, but we are getting through it fairly rapidly, as you can probably see. And what is that? Ansu's, I'll take that. Ansu's? Have I been saying it wrong my whole life? <laughs> Uh, I actually don't know for sure, but either way, let's just keep going. The one thing I'm really concerned about is like demon beggars and stuff like that. Just w walking into one of those and just destroying myself by accident. Because that's such an easy mistake to make. Didn't really mean to pick up that charged key, but... Uh, well, what's done is done. <laughs> uh, tier 8, don't need that anymore. Because of the sword. Um, yeah, that's... For one, it's part of um, Conjoined. For two, it also does deal damage on the floor, so it is, at the end of the day, effective. Um, but I'm pretty much just saving this. I'll just ruin for whenever I take a hit from anything, really, during either boss rush or stuff like that. Because I think I can see myself getting hit during that. And at least that way we have some safety when... Uh, yeah, good stuff happen. Um, if I am just going to go for delirium, it doesn't really matter that I have this, so I will just take that. Um, it is a little bit of extra defense. I'm not even sure if this works with what I currently have, so I'm just gonna go like that. And we're just gonna exclusively use our flames here as well. Pretty much just make life as safe as possible. The moment I hear that Holy Mantle go off, I am using that Algis card. But so far, things are looking pretty okay. Just trying to get flames around me, really. In every direction that I can. Which is working out. <laughs> it's working out for sure. I am continuously terrified, though. I don't love that feeling. Ooh. And you have stuff like that as well. Infamy probably is going to help out here and there as well, but it's not exactly something I want to rely on. Not sure if it's luck dependent, actually, Infamy. But it would be nice if it was, because my luck's pretty good. Pin. Or the other one, the Frail. I believe his name is. I do tend to forget. Load. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a D100, so that's fun. That is guaranteed damage during Nod Leaf, so that's also good. Okay, we're good. We're fine. <laughs> we're doing okay. We're doing okay as the lost. We're having a good time. Uh, Curse of the Unknown doesn't affect us, so that's nice as well. I have at some points in my life mentioned that I'm not the biggest fan of um, Scarred Womb, but that's fair enough, I suppose. 
Let's just blow that up for good measure. It is, like, this also destroys so many tiers as well. It's such a ridiculous build. <laughs> just any damage that can come close to me right now is getting removed from the game, and that does... It does help on a mental level to try and get through these floors with this character for sure. But realistically, if I had this build with any other character, I'd be very happy. If this is a build I'd have with Tainted Lost, I'd be very happy, honestly, because... Quite frankly, that is still like a whole nother set of nonsense right there, but... Hopefully that will just have a similar build. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be the one and only time I'm gonna get this particular combination of events happening and... Uh, have a good time, but maybe we'll be lucky again one day. God, I am just so worried about running into a demon beggar or something like that. That is like my main concern as well. Just some instant death that I don't see coming. I did just get hit as well, so... There's still danger lurking around every corner. Uh, but we're making it through. We are nearly at Hush. Another Scarred Womb with Curse of the Law, so really the worst of all worlds. Very nice. Never feel safe. <laughs> Always just be on your toes because Isaac wants to hurt you. But it's working out. It's working out. We got the algaes. We got the good times. We got pretty long range, honestly, with this particular combination of events. So that's nice. Just go through that. Light is still very much the nicest thing in the world. Very safe way to get through all sorts of dangerous in this game, and that is appreciated. A little tempted to check out the... This, I think. Eh. Don't particularly need tier 8 at this point. Ooh. There we go. Who's left? Just you. I think we're going in the right direction with how far we've been going, so that's nice at least. Eh, until I said that, of course. Should probably be picking up more consumables and things, but I really just want to leave every room as quickly as I can. <laughs> every room frightens frightens me to a level that I can't quite explain, but it's probably made clear with uh, uh, how I'm talking throughout this run. Because <laughs> it is terrifying. I, was this actually the wrong way the entire time? Are you serious? Alright, well, it's still potential for being mostly the right way, at least. There's a tinted rock in that room. But I think I'm good. I mean, I'll try it for sure, but... Not really that excited about what could possibly come out, I suppose. Da -da 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 -da. Don't like these rocks either, because they can just explode into tears as well, and that could be a problem. Or in a soul heart, sure. When you least expect it, and you least need it, there comes the soul heart out of the rock that can damage you. Very good. There we go. We're gonna try. Uh, I was gonna try to use a charge attack, but I ended up just booping him. We unlocked that multiplayer baby. I'll take that. That's not bad either. It also works very well with Nod Leaf, so things are looking good. And I kind of want to have this Elgis available for the delirium fight. But I don't know if I'm going to. <laughs> uh, that doesn't do anything for me. I could re-roll that, I guess. I should re-roll that, I guess. I'll touch that. How many books is that? Two? Probably, right? I have to imagine that's two. That is interesting, but also not something I particularly need right now, I suppose. Uh, I'm not gonna risk any of that. If that's telepills and it takes me into the room, then I'm screwed. That is interesting, though. Is that just positive? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'll take that. This is conjoined, right? Might just be a damage down, but it's so insignificant, really. That doesn't really matter too much. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that, I think. Poke Go kind of scares me. I might be able to reroll this at the end of the fight. This will get through the first phase fairly safely, at least. 
This is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. He's not actually doing anything because we're dealing too much damage for him to not just go to the hide underground thing immediately. Hush died more or less instantly. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's just reroll that. That was just a really normal hush fight that we're having today. Uh, God, I do kind of want to do Mega Satan, but I really should just go for Delirium. I don't like it, but I am going to do it. It's not the best idea, I think. But it is very safe, and I, I genuinely do feel more confident with going for Mega Satan on a later run. But it is a bit of a shame, because this this build is making the screen shake. I didn't even realize that that's what was happening, but... Every time I swing my sword, the screen is shaking at this point. That's actually ridiculous. I don't think I've even seen that before. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, another soul of Lilith. Seems reasonable. We did not have enough familiars yet, so that makes sense. I am still just genuinely terrified of dying to some random thing, because we didn't get any extra lives either. We have just gotten absurd amount of damage. And of course, uh, some decent defense there as well. But... <laughs> I can just see the Temperance Machine or just some tear that I'd miss, or just miss getting hit by something and thinking I have Holy Mantle or something, and just ending the run instantly that way. But... Uh... Okay, uh, could you be delirium pl Oh my god, oh. I'm just gonna use Algis and destroy him. <laughs> I don't need to use Notley. Maybe. This is seemingly working out fairly well. At least do as much damage as possible and then use the Notley when it's starting to run out. Come on. There you go. That's a good delirium right there. <laughs> I'm so happy to get that out of the way because that is a path that I never want to do as this character again. I will, at this point, now look for an R key again because I feel like that worked out pretty well last time. I feel it's fairly unlikely that it's going to happen again, but I wouldn't mind it. Um, maybe we could get... Um, is there any other way we could get out of this floor? We could repeat the floor with an I am error room. Uh, but that's really the only thing I can think of. Do we have any items we can reroll so far? No. Might be able to reroll this Mr. Squeezy if it ever gets grabbed, but... Gift? That could be interesting. Uh, realistically, I just want to get as many items in this room as possible so I can just use the Eternal D6. I'm not sure... I'm guessing that if I use the gift here, it's not going to re-roll into just a random room item. But I could use it in the secret room, I guess. Yeah, I could just place that in the secret room. And then re-roll it. In the super secret room, I mean. Because I think that still goes into the secret room item pool. So we do have a shot there, at least. I'll take that shot. And I can get it. That's the infinity, uh, which is more reliable than the D6 for sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you, gonna use you once on that, fate's reward, sure. Uh, we're going to just take that, we can press, uh, I think it's control on keyboard, but we can also press Right trigger to turn this into a regular D6. We roll that, and we are going to do this floor for a while. And uh, just try and turn that into an R key. That is actually not impossible. <laughs> so I don't hate that. Kind of a shame to get rid of that eternal D6, because it is pretty good, but... I mean, quite frankly... <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I'm not fully charged yet. Huh? Oh, I kinda am. Shovel. Yeah, this, this is gonna take a minute. It might work, it might not. I don't have a way to recharge my item in any infinite way right now, to my knowledge at least. 
There might be pills that allow me to do it. If there might be like um Ooh, if there is a 24 hour energy pill, then I could turn this into a D1 and just do the same thing that I did uh Was it the last run? It was a run. <laughs> Don't fully recall which run it was. But that might be a plan. Uh algae's sure. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with that. I'm also just going to bomb into here in case there's something good in there. Oh, God. Kind of wish I waited for um, using that gift here because that is just a reroll machine and that would have given me so many more rerolls, but oh well. What can you do? Didn't know about it. That is good, but <laughs> not now. God, even that makes food items good on this character. It's such a disgusting item. <laughs> there is still that boss to kill. But yeah, I am tempted. The moment I see a pill, I should probably use the Eternal D6 on it. to, Or the Eternal D1. Not the Eternal D1. Infin what is this thing called? Uh, D Infinity. Excellent. But I won't, because I believe in myself. <laughs> That's a... Perfectly reasonable reason. Just gonna keep holding that. Yeah, I think if I switch out to a different active item now, it's also gonna get rid of my charge, which is not great. Uh, that could be potentially some batteries, I suppose, so might as well take that. There you go. <laughs> it's not the most effective way in the world to continuously get rerolls, but it works. That is a skeleton key. Uh, I'm just gonna clear the rest of the floor first before I start getting into that nonsense. I think there is a limit to how many items you can get from glitter bombs on a floor? But, not sure. That's a battery right there. Take that. Gotta watch out for those flies as well because they have become so, so much more important suddenly. So much more of a danger out of nowhere. There we go. Back to the super secret room. We have 13 coins. I could play the uh, machine again, the claw machine, but I'm not sure if it really makes any difference. Since I'm really only going to reroll this. If there's a sun card on this floor, I wouldn't mind actually using that blank card. Uh, I haven't seen one yet, though. But I still need to get that unlock at some point where you use the uh, sun card with a blank card, and that gives you some multiplayer baby or something. It's one of those weird things that's so easy to forget about. What, where are you? Puberty. Puberty. That's not anything I need. That's worrying. It was worrying, but we fixed it. There is no more concern. Very good. That's an invisible enemy. Is that a pin? Like a mini pin or something? Maybe not. <laughs> I mean... Puberty! Yeah. <laughs> It's worth it just for that alone. I still need to properly look into um, turning that on or off all the time. Because I wouldn't mind having it on all the time, I guess, just for the sake of that. Because it doesn't happen too frequently that I'm just spamming pills and stuff all over the place. But at the same time, if I could just exclusively do it for horse pills, then that would be nice. But simultaneously, it just happened without me having to mess with the settings. So I suppose that's also quite nice as well. Uh, Transcendence. I could, I should probably actually look for trap doors as well, I suppose, in case I can get myself into an IMM room, because I think that uh, effectively just allows you to redo the floor. So that might be nice. Uh, another not quite guaranteed thing, but still, it would be would be nice if it did work out. Come on. I'd really love that R key right now. <laughs> this is such a ridiculous build. If we don't get it, we don't get it. But God, it would simplify so much. Because then I could just go for Mega Satan and the chest as well, and that would just be so many unlocks in one run. But we're not just gonna we're not gonna hope for it. We're just gonna see if it happens. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But it, it would be nice. It would be a really nice thing to get for sure. Ay, ay, ay. Wondering if if I get PhD, like the bad PhD, if it will still have 24 hour energy in the pill pool because it's probably technically a neutral pill or something like that. Um, 
but I don't know. I could use D1 on this, I suppose. I don't know how, what the recharge is of D1 thinking about it. I uh, should have probably considered that. But that might be worthwhile, because then I could... Let's just first actually turn this into a D1. It's that one. Four rooms. It is better. So I could just do that for a while to at least create as many charged keys in that room as possible. It's at least something. It does increase our chances. I don't want to clear this room out just yet because I just realized it's big. Uh, can I not bomb my way through this floor? Oh, that's annoying. Actually, wasn't sure about that. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose, but yeah. Annoying time to realize that. That is unfortunately a, an extra charge that we threw away there, but fair enough. This is a lot of work, but it, it, if it works, it's, it was 100% worth it, so I, I really have to go for it, unfortunately. I might take the, the bad PhD, I suppose, because pills don't really matter that much at this stage anyway. And if it does mean that I can tell what pills do, then if there is any unknown pills at this point, then that would be useful. So hopefully we can get something going with that. Uh, adversary. Very scary. I'll pick that up just so it doesn't appear again, I suppose. Um. Yeah, we're running out of rooms here, unfortunately. We still have some glitter bomb shenanigans to play with, so do still need to get that out of the way as well. And there might still be a crawl space somewhere as well, so there is a bunch of rocks to destroy. And there is still Delirium secretly still alive, even though he's already dead. But occasionally making some fun sounds, so that's nice. There is, of course, also... This thing that we should probably just be putting all of our money into, just in case. Oh, it does run out. I actually wasn't sure if it just kept giving you more and more items or not, but I guess it doesn't. That's understandable, I suppose, but I never actually reached the point where the thing exploded because it ran out of stuff, so yeah, fair enough. Guess that does happen. That's another charge key right there. All of those are gonna fully charge my D6, so that is at least a bunch more attempts. But it is weird how the delirium floor keeps putting me in this situation. <laughs> On. There we go. What's that? Hermit card? Oh. Hmm. I'll take that later. I'm not sure if Hermit has weird effect. Oh, I might actually just crash the game thinking about it. It might not be. Although, would a game crash be so bad? Uh, because if I crash the game, I can redo the floor. Although, I'd have to do Delirium again. Which wasn't that difficult, honestly, but it, it is a worry. <laughs> It isn't something I particularly want want to like keep trying over and over. Because if I mess that up, then suddenly I have no delirium or good stuff anymore, and that would be the worst of the situation. So I think I'd rather not bother with trying to crash the game on purpose. Just doesn't seem right right now. What are all these runes? I don't know if I actually properly looked at the runes that are currently in this floor. But if one of them is Yera, then well, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? <laughs> That would be quite nice, for sure. But over here we have... Right, that's Soul of the Forgotten. I did, I, I guess I did look at that one at some point. That's the scariest room in the game. Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> Never look at that again. Uh, where was the other room? It's still left over here. Yarrow would be so nice. Soul of Samson, right. Okay. Let's take Sister Maggie with us. I think we need another familiar in this run after all. That's really the main thing we were missing. Come on, crawl space. Give me that black market that still doesn't work because somehow this game has not been patched yet since it's been released to my knowledge and that's unusual. I'd say that's unusual because usually they're... Yeah, it's different. But it does still have some very strange bugs in it that are odd that they're still there. But I'll take the free IMR rooms, I suppose. Lunch. 
Or breakfast? I forget which one of the two it is. It's it's one of the food-based items, I suppose. Last one. Please don't kill me. No. Okay. That's not quite what I expected to happen, but sure. Uh, yeah, another fly. Good. Alright. Um, there is a chest that I haven't opened yet. So that's something worth looking into, I suppose. There is a bunch of rocks here that I haven't destroyed yet, which might as well. Not really trying too hard to destroy all the rocks because I'm just not expecting anything to happen here, I suppose, but it's also just not that interesting. But I will, I guess... I should probably just bomb for a while in the room next to the thing. Uh, where was the... Bad PhD again. It was one of the... Okay, that's nice. Just gonna use the glitter bombs until they stop giving me anything at all, which might have already happened. Never mind. Shouldn't pick up keys immediately, I suppose, because they could just be... Uh, good keys that charge the thing, but it's kind of difficult to tell immediately, I suppose. Really just a bunch of tiny batteries would be okay. Big batteries I'd also accept, I suppose. Uh, let's go to a different room, because if we can duplicate it, then we might want to. Okay, regular key, unidentified pill. I, mm. I mean, if it is if it is the right one, that would be nice. I'm going to actually take the PhD and see if that... Well, hopefully it doesn't remove it from the item pool, but I'm just gonna hope that it works out that way, because that way I'm just not continuously in my own mind about this nonsense. Um, uh, really? Really? Where is the... Oh, it's all the way in the bottom, fair enough. World card, have I missed any room? No. I'll blow this up just because I feel bad about it. It's <laughs> really the main reason. Alright. We got a shot speed down. Very nice. If that is 24-hour energy, you know what's going to happen. It's going to be silly for a second time in a row. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Luck down. Okay, fair enough. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to turn this into a D6 because, quite frankly, it's unlikely that we're going to recharge it again anyway. Full card. I just want a tiny battery, or a big battery, either way. But I am probably reaching the point that I'm not going to get many more items from this. <laughs> it is getting to that point, unfortunately, but... Until it stops, I... I w oh, another one. That's very good. I'm going to end up blowing myself up, aren't I? <laughs> Almost certainly. I think I'm just going to start using these charge keys, because I'm getting impatient, is, is the main reason. Another golden key. Coin. Half a heart. Just give me like a half a battery, please. Thank you. Nope. Uh, if only I could uh, just duplicate those things as well, that'd be lovely. Yes. Single key. At this point, the tiny battery has lost its touch. I suppose it would have been better in a way to save that for... Yeah, because now I'm not actually able to use the item again. <laughs> yeah, that one, I didn't really think that one through. That was probably impatience talking at the end of the day. I already picked up the charge key in this room, so... But if we get one more tiny battery now, then at least I can use it one more time. We'll see. Yeah, I'm surprised things are still dropping from this, if I'm being honest, because I have been dropping so many bombs. It's a nice thing about golden bombs, I suppose, that you could just keep trying this, but still, I did not expect it to keep going on for quite so long. I might have reached the end here, though. Alright. So, we're... Oh, nope. It's still going. Are you serious? How long does this keep giving items? That's so ridiculous. It's... <laughs> It's actually so good. It's not a bad item for this character, but not quite what I'm looking for right now. 
because that is... Wait, is that the idea I'm gonna think of? But I, I think that's the one where if you take damage, you get like sucked out of your body and you can just run around for a little bit longer. It's effectively an extra life on this character. And I think it also makes soul hearts useful on this character because you recharge it with soul hearts. So you end up with just a whole bunch of extra defense that way. And that is obviously just a really nice thing to have. That is this thing, right? Yeah, on death, Isaac Ghost is chained to his dead body and fly around and return alive after 10 seconds and must be recharged by his soul. So yeah, it, it's all that and it's amazing. It, it's so good on this character because it's such an extra strong layer of defense that you suddenly have. But uh, unfortunately not now. Now specifically is the one time that I'm not looking for that particular item on this character. Come on. Just give me the one thing that I would like, please. I'm willing to say that we just have four more attempts and that if not, then we'll just call it a day because I am... I am genuinely getting a little bit bored of this and I wouldn't mind just uh, calling it a day. Placebo... I mean... If I had a gulp pill, that would be pretty nice, but I don't think I'd be able to use it enough to uh, actually get those five uses out of it, unfortunately. Yeah, I probably uh, have seen the end of the items now, finally. It has taken a minute. And there is still some rocks we could destroy. Never mind, an eternal heart just came out again. And a... Is it just per room or something that it decides, you know what, you can have some more items, or... Is the, the amount of chance just lowered every time you get an item or something? And occasionally it just is like, well, you've thrown a hundred bombs. Have five coins. Because I am still occasionally getting things. But it's very occasional at this stage. I don't mind it. I suppose. But I just don't understand the rules. <laughs> okay. Keeping that. Not sure if I've checked out every pill on this floor. I'm fairly sure I have. But I'm not 100% sure. What is that? Spin down dice. Um. Right. I mean, I'll touch it. Uh, this will turn into uh, all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna just Google something real quick. Don't mind me for a second. I need to look something up. Uh, just one moment, please. All right, that's unfortunately not gonna. Well, maybe I can do something with this. I'm just gonna walk over here. Oh, I got rid of the. Uh, okay. I th yeah, I did re-roll the the thing, didn't I? I re-rolled the um, eternal D six. I might have been able. Uh, to reroll that a couple times into the R key, but I think anything else is too far up the list. Yeah, I don't think that works. So, unfortunately, like, this item changes the internal ID of an item by... Well, it says one, but there's gaps in it, so it's it just goes to the next item, effectively. And, and the mod does show, effectively, which is going to be the next item. Um... I think it's probably fairly accurate for the most part as well. Um, but there is... If I had this, the Eternal D6, I probably would have been able to re-roll that a couple times into the Araki because I haven't got everything in between unlocked yet, so there might have been just enough charges. But unfortunately, <laughs> uh, it didn't end up working out. Uh, for as far as I can tell, at least. So we're just unfortunately gonna have to say no to that idea. Even though it has been arguably the most likely least luck dependent one that we've seen so far, but I'm just gonna try it two more times. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh... Okay, that's an option. That is certainly an option. And I'm just gonna put that over here. Just gonna put that in its own little box. Uh, <laughs> we might just redo the floor one more time. And hopefully get 
a secret room item then. I think that's pretty much the only chance we got for this to work. It seems like a bit of overkill to redo all of the delirium floor again in the hopes of getting an R key. But again, if this build makes it there, then I'd be very happy about that. That's a red key as well. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think I can use the red key to go into the um, the bad place. Yeah, it doesn't allow me. Okay. I guess it would have given me one more item charge. I would have that would have been smart to consider uh, in a way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. All right. We're actually going to do this nonsense, which I well, wasn't hoping for that. I'm not going to lie. Wasn't hoping to do this. <laughs> but we are going to use the forget-me-not. We unlocked the holy card. That's actually a nice thing to get out of the way. Because that's going to be fairly vital if we're ever playing as Painted Isaac, I suppose. So that's quite nice. Uh, we can't see our health. So that's unfortunate because of that old curse of the unknown. That is Greed who dropped 25 coins. We just need to find a D6 now. <laughs> How, what are the odds of that not happening? Am I right? So, yeah, we should be good. It's a shame that I didn't have a school bag. School bag would have been so useful to uh, try and uh, thingy to thingy. I guess if we find Clicker, I might switch to a different character if uh, all else fails, because then I might be able to do Delirium as another character as well. So I might actually want to save Delirium for as late as possible if the R key nonsense isn't going to work out that's a plan it certainly is a plan <laughs> it certainly is a plan but it's not exactly what i'm hoping for i suppose solo judas uh maybe not a bunch of nothing dead end not sure where delirium is and so i guess Mm, I might actually play this for a little bit just to see if we can get a um, a thing here. A crystal ball, because that way I'd be able to see the map a bit easier and not have to worry about stuff so much. But simultaneously, I kind of want to just keep going. I'm just going to keep going. Lucky Rock, I don't need you. I don't need you. Um, But yeah, at this point I'm looking for Perthrow. I am looking for another present. I don't think that's that can realistically happen, but you know, it would be nice. Uh, what else am I looking for? I guess uh, a dice room? <laughs> and I'm looking for bosses. Really, that is the list of things that I'm looking for right now. If you could, any of you could drop an R key, I would be much obliged. It's just that I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel here in terms of ideas. <laughs> and I don't much love that. At some point we're gonna have to fight Delirium again as well, but that doesn't really matter too much. Blood Oath unfortunately doesn't do anything as this character. Not sure how that's unfortunate, but I mean, life finds a way. If anything, we'll still have at least beaten Delirium with this character, so it's not like I'm particularly disappointed by how this run has gone, but it's more... The more we can squeeze out of this, is the better, because it's so strong. This is one of the strongest builds I've ever had with this particular brand of nonsense. I mean, any luck-based item with the loss just becomes so much better, because you're basically guaranteed to get perfection to drop during your run. Uh, because otherwise you're dead. So, unless you have maybe dead cat and that way you lose um, out on stuff, there's not really a way you're not going to get perfection. So having having that combined with the sword is is a, is an interesting surprise. I didn't expect the flame to shoot every single single time that I shot my sword or through attack with my sword, I guess. But it does make the sword worthwhile to unlock simply because you end up getting so much more use out of all of this nonsense right here. So. I'm happy that I did. I'm happy that I planned ahead like this, like I definitely have. That is so cool. Just a big flame. Look at how big this sword is as well. It covers the entire room. I spin three times when I do that. It just wins. Uh, I'll take that, actually. 
But it is starting to look a little dire in the whole Arky situation with the amount of bosses we've destroyed so far. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, good. I mean, like, what realist? Like, if I can find Perthrow, that's that's really the main thing because then at least I, I still have something to reroll. But I haven't seen Perthrow in a while, just in general, really, um, in any run. So I'm starting to question if I've even unlocked it, but I'm fairly sure I have. I'm fairly certain that I have unlocked Perthrow at some point. What was in there? Soul of Samson. That one shows up a lot. <laughs> That's a rune that shows up all over the place for some reason, but... Yeah. Well, it's just the way it is at the end of the day, I suppose, but... I would like to get more Perthro runes. They're just very nice to get. Shame that we got an odd leaf in this run, because we really didn't get any use out of it at all. <laughs> uh, but, oh well. At least it was nice to see that it still exists on this build, I suppose. And also on the right character, of all things. That is a surprise. Because I feel like that, of all of all characters, it's just a very nice thing to have on the Lost in particular. Um, I also had that clicker idea at some point. I really haven't been trying to see if a boss was going to be uh, Delirium or not. I've just been running into all of them and hoping for the best. But occasionally that's just what you gotta do. I'd say it's working out. That one probably is Delirium, though, so I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Unless this goes in a weird direction. Ooh, is there a spiky rock there? I took damage from something, and I genuinely have no idea what it was. That was quite worrying. Ended up working out, I suppose. Okay, so... There's a big room left. Uh, it doesn't look like any rooms can even be adjacent to it after that, so I'm just gonna leave that room alone and fight Delirium one more time. And that's it, I think. Well, I guess I'll do the big room just in case um, there is a Perthrow room there. That That is effectively my only option at this stage, after all. So I should actually go and do it. I'm not sure if you get runes from uh, fortune teller machines. not actually sure thinking about it. I guess I have that to try. I guess I should blow up skulls as well, thinking about it, but... Um, let's see. I could technically still destroy rocks as well to try and get a trap door to the black market and get another attempt at the delirium floor, but I'm gonna be honest, that's not my ideal situation. But I can spend just an absurd amount of money on this machine. And, uh, just call it a day from there. Do I have any way to get clicker from this point? I don't think I do, right? You'd think with as lucky as this character is, win more often, but I guess this machine is not actually luck-based, even though you might think it was. Fool card. I could just use an Emperor question mark card again and just be stuck in a random hole. That, that would be fun, but also not an ideal situation to be in, I suppose. And also I'd need to find the card first. There's a lot of different aspects to that idea that don't quite work out at the end. Um, but... In in the honest opinion of this is reaching the end of possibilities. Oh, there it is. Did end up getting this thing at least, so that's fun. The uh, did not really give me a rune, which would have been interesting if it did, I suppose. I'm not sure if it even can. It can give you uh, cards, but not sure if it can give you runes. Might as well just use this a couple times, I suppose, if there's batteries aplenty. Just big, full-on batteries lying all over the place. Would have been nice to get that a little bit sooner. But oh well. Um, Alright, Algis. Let's just do the same thing we did the last time, since I feel that worked out fairly well. Yeah. This still does decent damage, I would say. It's a little bit tedious how he keeps teleporting all over the place, but that's really about it. Yeah, man. There you go. Well, that's Delirium beaten twice as the loss. <laughs> that's the way it is. It was an interesting build for sure. We have a really big sword. I like the reflection having the sword point up in some mysterious way. That's kind of unusual. Is that how reflections work? Have I just been wrong about reflections all my life? Because it only works when I'm doing it downwards <laughs> and upwards, I guess. Weird. Either way. There you go. 
we did some things as the lost, and that is a thing that I hadn't really done before except for that one Satan fight in the run where I actually unlocked the character. So, progress! Not bad, don't mind it. We have another death on our list, let's just see where we're at right now. We have six deaths in total so far, so I'm gonna say that's adequate. I'd, I'd say that's pretty damn good. Uh, we got a few deaths in challenges and I don't think it counts those. And in daily challenges as well. Also, I unlocked the broken modem the other day in a daily challenge, so I guess I never actually showed that off. So, but um, that can also show up because we won seven daily challenges or something like that. I've just been doing that off screen because it's just not that interesting to me. So I'd rather just um, do it like that. Either way, hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we're going to do another run, probably as a different character and probably not quite as ridiculous. And I hope to see you all there. Bye bye.